to our artists, supporters, colleagues, family, friends, and guests, I extend a warm spring greetings to every one of you. Welcome to the Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute's 57th Annual Art of Possibilities Art Show and Sale, presented by Smead Manufacturing Company. I, Laura Brooks of the Courage Kenny Foundation, feel honored to be able to welcome you all to this amazing celebration of fine art. We celebrate the 57th Annual Art Show virtually. Although we miss having the art hanging in the walls of Courage Kenny Rehabilitation Institute, we are thankful for the opportunity to adapt and bring the art show and sale to your home. Thank you for being with us tonight. Grab a beverage, a snack, relax, and enjoy the art of possibilities. With that, I'm very excited to announce our co-chair, Anthony Zaremba and his wife, Dorothy. Anthony has participated in the art show every year for the past 25 years. Congratulations and welcome Anthony. Hi, my name is Anthony and this is my wife, Jarvie. Hi. I'd like to welcome you to the 57th Annual Art of Possibilities Art Show. Thank you for joining us this evening. I am honored to represent the town of the Google Flowers. We are a company of a great group of people who share a passion for art and healing. And so I mentioned I have been in the art shop 25 years. Good evening. My name is Dorothy, and I am the supporting factor for Anthony. Uh, Anthony has been painting all his life. We are married for nearly 50 years. And during that time, from the first time I met him on a date, he had a sketch pad on the beach. And from that time on, I have been his like, co-worker. Uh, he does have multiple sclerosis, which is a disability that takes many turns. And during the years, uh, it has reflected in his artwork. His fine dexterity has uh, been compromised. His vision has been compromised and his speech has been compromised. But none of this disability or these inabilities, I would rather call it than disabilities, has stopped him from becoming a very, a, a, an award-winning artist. Yes, disability does impact people, but it should not ever stop you from continuing yeah. to do what you love yeah. and be passionate about what you love because it's something that is inborn and very few people have the ability to put on paper what other people can enjoy. But it shows like art of possibility that make it possible for people to enjoy and be passionate about what they love and love to do. And my advice to any young artist is never give up. Stick with it. Someone will like what you do. Thank you, Anthony. We're so honored to have you represent our artists and our art show. Now I'd like to introduce you to our other honorary co-chair, Ann Labovitz. Ann's art explores many themes, including interest in people and the human spirit. She currently has two art exhibits at the Minneapolis International Airport. Welcome, Ann. Thank you, Laura. I'm excited to be one of the honorary co-chairs for the 57th annual Art of Possibilities show and sale. I'm honored to have been asked to be a part of this event and so excited and grateful to each and every one of you for showing up today to see and experience and hopefully buy some work. My name is Ann Leibovitz. I'm an artist, a public artist, a painter, printmaker, your fellow human, and a citizen of the world. My work is about being human, providing opportunities to see one another co-create through beautiful artworks. My current project is the I Love You Institute, created to urgently work with communities and address today's world, to propagate kindness and connection, and I love you as an alternative to division and conflict. When we pause long enough to truly see one another, we can fall in love. We can see one another and love one another. And to me, that is what Art of Possibilities is all about. We are gathering today to celebrate our difference and our unique abilities through art. 
Art has an amazing effect on rehabilitation and healing and is an important part of Courage Kenny's overall mission and whole person care. Think for a moment of healing and what a wonderful opportunity you have in this very moment to support healing through your purchase of art. How more great could it be than to bring home a piece of art and support healing? I'm so personally grateful that you showed up today and you've taken time to acknowledge, support, see, and share the efforts of these 134 artists. Thank you, Anne. We're honored to have you support Art of Possibilities. At this time, I'm excited to introduce to you some of the amazing talent that makes up this year's art show. Hello, my name is Gabrielle Ancharski. I am a 30-year-old self-taught photographer. I do photography because it brings me joy, and I hope that it brings joy to everyone else. Thank you. Words and images, paintings, drawings, these visual journals, sketchbooks, it's not just how I express myself, it's how I save my life. I think that epilepsy is, is also a big part of who I am as an artist. Um, those, you know, <laughs> flashing lights in my brain or, or seizures or leaving, um, that's all in my art, that's who I am. Hi, I'm Dick Crum, and uh, I've been in a wheelchair for a number of years as a result of a car accident. And uh, I'm inspired with my photographs through, uh, I guess, just God's great creation. And so I love to capture some of that with my camera and uh, being able to share that with other people through my photography. Hi, this is Clarence Carter Voucher. I'm a master teaching artist with Arts Access South Carolina, a directory artist with the South Carolina Arts Commission, and a full-time professional artist writer and musician. I'm sitting here in my studio in front of one of my paintings and I hope you enjoy this show. Hi everyone, my name's Hal Moran. I'm a photographic artist. I appreciate the art of possibilities for allowing me to showcase my work on a national stage. My name is Kristen Jang and I'm a stained glass on glass artist. In my art, I aim to highlight the intersection of glass, light, and color. Creating art is a place of refuge and peace the rest of the world disappears and I often feel connected to the divine. In my art, I hope to inspire a similar connection to both the creator and creation. That's just a good way that I can express through what I see and what I can do and I'm really happy I can share that with everyone. My name is Delora Fears. I'm a visual artist. I work primarily with handmade paper pulp. I work with it in a three-dimensional form, sculptural form. What inspires me is the world around me and the details and, and how things work together in balance. All in all, uh, creativity gives me life and for that I am grateful. Hi, I'm Debbie Huff and I'm an artist in Landenburg, Pennsylvania. This will be my second year exhibiting at Art of Possibilities and I really enjoyed the show last year as my first opportunity to exhibit my art in this particular event. So I hope you have a chance to check out the art that's gonna be online in this year's event. And thanks again for letting us all be a part of Art of Possibilities. Thank you. Well, that's what the Art of Possibilities is all about. We're ready to announce the 2021 award winners. There are six categories of art, graphic, mixed media, oil and acrylic, photography, sculpture, and watercolor. Each of these categories is carefully reviewed by a professional artist juror in the art community. Representing the jury on behalf of the sponsors to present the awards is Maddie Mainwood, art show intern who is currently studying art history at the University of Minnesota. Welcome, Maddie. Thanks, Laura. I'm excited to introduce you to our jury and the award winners for this year's show. We have an impressive group this year consisting of 134 artists. These diverse artist styles range across a wide spectrum and are featured in six main categories. Graphic, mixed media, oils and acrylics, photography, sculpture, and watercolor. All artwork in the show is reviewed by a volunteer jury of professional artists, collectors, influencers, and educators from our arts community. We are honored to have six jurors share their time talent and feedback with us. 
This year, they reviewed many familiar themes, but noticed a new one. Stemming from the challenges and changes of COVID-19, it explores how the pandemic has affected all of our lives differently. I now have the privilege of announcing the 2021 Art of Possibilities Award winners in each category. The graphic category was reviewed by Bonnie Lauber Westover. This year's show included graphite, ink, colored pencil, and gouache as media. There were also an impressive variety of printmaking techniques included, from relief prints to etching, engraving, and digital processes. Subject matter ranged from the serious to the joyous. Some pieces reflect personal struggles, others focus on mankind's struggles to preserve our planet for both ourselves and the creatures around us, and some simply celebrate being alive. In each case, the artists express something that interested them and is willing to share with us. First place in the graphic category, Ellen Happy and Sad by Rosanna Kelton. Second place in the graphic category, A Study by Vojko Rizvanovic. Third place in the graphic category, A Wolf in Sheep's Clothing by Isabella Sajda. Honorable mention in the graphic category, The Bear by Don Whitcar. The mixed media category was reviewed by Annie Metzger. This category consisted of work that was not only beautiful, but inspiring. Artists have the freedom to use any medium. Our artists were able to successfully share their messages through glass, fabric, ink, paint, wood, paper, and many more. We see the joy and curiosity this group brought to the viewer through their art and medium. The great range of material, style, and size is a testament to the variety and limitless bounds of mixed media. First place in the mixed media category, Bravery Shattered It by Melissa Milton. Second place in the mixed media category, Villages of River Elbe by Lewis Middleton. Third place in the mixed media category, Making Friends with the Blue Dog by Cheryl Kindernick. Honorable mention in the mixed media category, Night Poppy by Linda Frankenstein. The sculpture category was reviewed by Cynthia Markle. This year's show included clay, stone, fibers, wood, wire, and even turf as mediums. Sculpture is unique in its dimensionality and each artist displayed their craft and talent from every angle. Although the range of mediums and proportion of sculpture can be a challenge, our artists use these qualities to their advantage to create breathtaking work. In this range of pieces, each artist used both technical and emotional skills to invite the viewer into the experience of their sculpture. First place in the sculpture category, Welcome Spring by Christine Severson. Second place in the sculpture category, Autumn Afternoon by Delora Fears. Third place in the sculpture category, Modern Tradition Revisited by Michael Meeson. Honorable mention for the sculpture category, Chainsaw Mushroom by Eric Olson. The watercolor category was reviewed by Gail Voss. This year, our artists created stunning paintings in all different forms, including still life, portrait, landscape, and abstractions. Watercolor can come with its own challenges, and the use of texture, detail, and attention to color is a demonstration of these artists' unique skill and control of the medium. This category showcases work that is lighthearted as well as serious. The subtleties and complexity of watercolor lead the viewer to experience a large range of emotions and the show's artist personality show through their work. First place in the watercolor category, Almost Flying by Elizabeth Sullivan. Second place in the watercolor category, Waiting for Scraps by Luann Happy. Third place in the watercolor category, Blue Roof Barn by Sandy Yarns. Honorable mention for the watercolor category, Ouch, by Daniel Wilson. 
The oil and acrylic category was reviewed by Kai Lu. This was the largest category of art this year and showed a beautiful range of style, including abstract, realistic, and expressionistic paintings. The artists displayed their dedication to technique and showcased their skill by using brushstroke to their advantage, by creating harmony even with contrasting colors, and by using both organic and geometric shapes. The composure of this art also finds a way to express the emotions of the artist to the viewer. First place in the oils and acrylics category, Night Music by Ian Shearer. Second place in the oils and acrylics, Candle Flame by Paula Davidovich. Third place in the oils and acrylics category, Trapped Within by Jennifer Scott. Honorable mention in the oils and acrylics, Have You Ever by Brandon Albeck. The photography category was reviewed by Alex Soth. This category holds a variety of photography and showcased unique styles, ranging from moody and mysterious to light and joyful. This category gives us a window into the lens of our artists' lives. The astounding use of skill is clear by the technical use of the camera and successful use of Photoshop. Each photo comes with its own unique style and challenges the viewer to reflect upon themselves. The variety of photography was beautifully executed by each artist, and we thank you for sharing the world through your lens. First place in the photography category, Noka by Eric Stampy. Second place in the photography category, If Thy Right Hand Had Offended Thee by Baz Here. Third place in the photography category, Anxiety by Stephanie Slavin. Honorable mention for photography, Laced by Omar Alsham. The award for best in show goes to Mew, a photograph by Gabrielle Anzarski. Finally, before we send you off to the art show and sale, we just want to remind everyone that all the art is available for sale at prices established by the artist. We invite you to come back often during the three-week show, and please consider supporting the art show. You make a difference. Enjoy the show.